Hey, it's been a while. This is my one defense Iron Man. Let's recap from the last episode. So we were at Muspot and we just got our third ancient icon at 114 kill count. Muspa has been in the game as of this year, January 11th, and today's date is March 31st. So I've been stuck here for a little over two months, and I had to do a thousand Muspa kills to get out of here. After 189 kills, I got enough Ancient Essence to saturate the Imbued Heart. It's about average 200 kills to get enough. And I'm loving the new colors of it. A big clap to the 200 kill count. And that's the fourth Ancient Icon. After going a little over double the drop prey, we finally acquired the first Venator Shard. Feeling uh, pretty good, feeling pretty hopeful for the rest of them. So you're probably wondering why I'm killing Muspa. And the main priority is to upgrade the Ruby Addy Bolts to the Ruby Dragon Bolts when doing solar raids, especially at all. And it's a difference between four max hits, which is pretty big. Piers could only get these bolts via Nex, since Vorkath is defense restricted, and Muspa is a much better option since you use less supplies. Not only that, but Muspa drops a lot of other good stuff, like mana rays, limp roots, toad flags to make brews, Rainar Seeds, Snapdragon Seeds for your Prayer Potions and Super Restorers, and even Hard Clues and Elite Clues. But of course, the Venator Bow would be even cooler to get. It requires 5 Venator Shards, which are 1 in 100. And I'd be primarily using this bow at Jellies to get Hard Clues. I used to get them by Smoke Barraging, but that uses death runes and blood runes. Currently, I'm getting hard clues at the Wildy Hellhounds with a cannon and ring of wealth, just because Muspa is supplying with a lot of cannonballs, but once I run out of those, the Venator Bow at Jellies will be my backup plan to get hard clues, and I wouldn't be using any death runes or blood runes. And another icon, and that is 300 kill count. <gasps> yeah! Oh, dude, no way! Oh my god, no way! Ancient icon number six. It takes 40 hits to do t like 20 damage. Yo! Bro! <laughs> Whoa! I got the pet! No way! Dude, I heard the noise. <laughs> what the fuck? No! Before I get the five shards! <laughs> I was, dude, I couldn't spit out my water. Dude, I heard the noise and I was like, what is that? And then I saw this. It's time to combine the pet with the uh, transmog. I've unlocked it. The melee and the shielded. Ooh! That's pretty cool. Time to put them all away. Oh no, the last pet was the skeleton monkey. December 8th, 2021 was the last time I got a pet. So it's been a little more than a year. And that is 400 kills. And we have kill count number 500 coming in. 300 glue scrolls completed. Unlocking the Yuri Emo. If you like this video's new editing process, please like and subscribe. For hard clues, the last thing I need is the Trim Charge Glory.
for elite clues the last thing i need is the rangers tunic And for Master Clues, the things I'm going for are the Zenite Ornament Kits, for the Tormented Bracelet, and the Torture. And the usual Ancient Icon. Here's another big number, 600 kills. That is Ancient Icon number eight. And uh, another Icon. We have Kill Counts number 700 and 800 making big progress. Well, there's number 10 on the ancient icons. Still like, I don't know, a little down. Little down, a little out of it. Uh... Oh my God! <laughs> on 850, I was like, it's gonna be so clean. If I could get it on 850, bro, like I'm a little past five times dry. And that's another icon. Wow, it feels like it's back-to-back -back icons now. A big 900 kills completed. This ancient icon noise is driving me insane. Icon number 14, the quadruple digit kill cow. Ancient icon, ancient icon. You already know what it is. I had a feeling that it was not gonna be triple dry. I told you guys, dude. I was like, oh, we're gonna do 50 kills today. And it's just, it's just, oh. <laughs> bro, we have different content, man. We're going back to raids, dude. The first shard was at 233. That's double dry. The second shard, 319. That's like on the drop rate, one in 100. Third one was 343, you know, lucky. Uh, got pet at 396. Then got a five times dry streak at 850 for the fourth shard. And the fifth shard being 1082, which is double dry. That is freaking brutal. But we came out with about 5.5k uh, Dragon Bolts. 5.6k Dragon Bolts, actually. And that'd be good for, you know, solo ohm and, and, and just pretty much upgrading from an Addy Ruby Bolt to Dragon. Uh, and then 33k uh, cannonballs and just a bunch of seeds and supplies uh that i didn't have previously like we had like 3k prayer pots we have like we were at 600 brews we have more like 2k brews we got 500 restorers plus another 1800 restorers so we're, we're living we're living very good right now um so i'm glad <clears throat> i'm glad we stuck to it we just got this bow uh let's combine it man Yes, I, I do wish to to create. <laughs> I look so weird. Why are my feet looking like this, man? What the heck? Uh, do I have to charge it or anything? 50,000 charges. Oh, yes. I want to get, uh, we have some amethyst arrows. Damn, dude. <laughs>